What's going on everybody and welcome back to a new video on the channel. Welcome to Forza Horizon 5 again. For today's video, I want to try some of the tunes that you guys have sent me. I've actually not done one of these videos in, a, in quite a while and I feel like it's kind of lacking on the channel. I love doing these. I love trying out the tunes that you guys make and, and send over to me. Um, I'm going to try and get rid of the whole thing. Here's the thing, right? I had this little rule where if you send me like a bad tune where you... You're saying that, oh my god, this is the best tune ever, just so you can get it picked. This was kind of the reason why I made that rule, right? Where people were kind of like lying about their tunes, and then I ended up picking them, and I just, they were just basically absolute ass. So I was like, well, there's, there has to be like some sort of consequence about, like with this, because people are like asking, <gasps> people were asking me to pick their tunes, and basically I was picking them and being like, yeah, this is just, this is just a bad tune, like it was just not entertaining to watch. So, I kind of came up with a rule where I'd end up banning them from the Discord for a week so they can't actually comment or do anything or post anything on my Discord for for a whole week. So I know it's not really that crazy of a of a ban or whatever. It's just kind of like a long timeout. But regardless, basically, I uh, I ended up kind of I'm, I'm taking that rule back. Okay, hopefully people learned with that. Anyway, if you want to send some stuff over to me, go over on my Discord and join it and. Uh, you can do so over uh, over there. Link to that is down in the description of this video. So, basically, I have a couple of tunes that I wanted to pick and just give them a just a shot just to see what it's like. There's one of them here that I really want to try, um, and then one of them that's kind of interesting I also kind of want to try as well. Um, but yeah, also there's a competition going on right now, uh, which will be over actually today as you're watching this video is at the end of the day. So tomorrow, I will end up uh, revealing who the winner is of the 100 million credits. Now, let's try this out. The very first one is a car that was built for the El Descenso track in this game. 149441511. It's the Mosler. The Tree Wrapper 400. Love the name. Brilliant name. So this was built to go as fast as possible on one specific track in this game. Or, I guess it's not really a track, it's more of a a, a place because it's not you're not really like kind of enclosed it's a cross-country event and it's on the Mosler uh, this is just <laughs> I can already tell this is gonna be an absolute mess to drive but I want to give it a shot and see I want to give it a shot and see uh, tune cars yeah it's locked I don't know whose tune this was that was on this thing my tunes oh my god I have so many Oh, yeah, because I remember because some of these were like for the oval circuit and stuff. They were actually very good. Anyway, here's the one that I'm using. Let's slap it on. El Descenso track. The El Descenso track in this game, if you've watched me ever do it before, is just dumb to drive on. It's a cross country event where it's just all straight up downhill. It's just a lot of it's just downhill. So let's see. Where am I in the world with this? So it's a, it's S2, so I should be, should be fairly high. Oh, my God. The, the guy that. Wait, my rival is actually the guy who made this tune. Where is he? Oh no, this is near me. Where's my 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 club? Pick from my club. There he is with the Moser. He's eleventh. He is eleventh in the world with this tune. I'm guessing that he's sent me. That is very sick. Well, I didn't actually realize that I'm so high up on this leaderboard. I'm sixty eighth in the world. How many how many players have done this? 160,000 people. And this guy's 11th. I completely forgot about this. Well, he's my he's my rival, so I need to try and beat him with his own tune. I don't know if that's going to work or not, but apparently this is super OP by the looks of things. He is four seconds faster. And I think I remember the 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 uh, the Rimac being, like, unreal at this. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. I thought this was just gonna be like a little little regular old tune, but this is this is this has become much more interesting now. If I beat him and I beat the guy above him, I get top ten in the world. On an old event, that's pretty legit. Okay, I went too fast. Is he not using the same tune that I'm using? No, surely he is, right? Damn, this thing's fast. 
think he used to drive it, but holy. <laughs> oh, I'm going so fast. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> I launch a lot better than he does, except I went really far wide. I feel like I need a little bit of practice. A little bit of practice with this thing. Oh my god. I'll try to be as smooth as possible. Wait, I'm playing one sim steering again, haven't I? Let me change that back. That's annoying. I don't know, man. I just hate sim steering off road. It just isn't good. It just twitches so hard. Also, what is it with his launch? I don't understand it. Uh. <laughs> what do I even do there? In a situation, my foot I just bounced up off the ground and lifted up, and it's gone. Okay, I've I finally done a good run at the starting bit. You're not, not great crusher with both of those. <gasps> oh my god. I know this dude is fast because he managed to get 11th in the world with it. But the thing is, I actually don't think he had launch control on. That's probably why. Or maybe he has assist on. I don't know. I don't think so. But I, d I definitely... I definitely think I could get closer. Oh god, I short shifted like an idiot. Nah, yeah, I'm all over the place here. I kind of just want to complete a run, to be honest with you. It's it's. It, what what would I even do? What do I even do? This is the worst one here. This, I, I can't get past this. It's been a half an hour and I couldn't get past this yet. Oh my god, I finally got past this somehow, some way. Oh, it's okay. I, I'll just let me scrape off the wall real quick. I know you got past it all, but. Oh! Oh no, just don't, don't mind me, guys. Uh, let me just smash into this wall trying to do a nice run here yes we get it you're bouncing just go back onto the ground again surely you have some sort of downforce with that wing and the shape of the car this is genuinely one of the most infuriating things I've ever done on Forza genuinely and it's pissing me off knowing that I can actually do a clean run. But I just have to get lucky. When it relies on luck and it doesn't rely on my driving, it is just the most annoying thing ever. It's just a random bounce. How did I not guess that that bounce is going to do that to my car? You know? How did I not guess that... That little lump in the ground is stopping me from turning right. Yeah, 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 cool. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's, I've been recording for 32 minutes. I haven't gotten past like the, the I'd had, I don't think I've gotten past 50% on this, on this track. It is genuinely stupid. Don't do this at home. This is one of the most infuriating things ever that you can possibly do to yourself.
Do I have any doubts in my mind that this is actually one of the fastest tunes on this track? Absolutely not. Do I care? Absolutely not. I'm giving up on this tune. I don't, I don't even care. I've been recording for 40 minutes and that was the first one I've actually managed to complete. It is wank. Absolute wank. Don't want to play with it again. I don't care if, I, if I'm not top 10 in the world. I don't care if I beat this guy. I don't care if I even beat myself. I don't want to play with it anymore. This is the first time I think I've ever rage quit a tune on this game. I don't want to play with it. I, I don't even want to know how many runs I've tried to do so far on this. Because I know for a fact it's been like over like 50. And I'm not doing it again. The randomness of all the jumps is, and the angle that you hit them at is one of the most infuriating things in the world. Because it's you don't have control over it. You bounce off something and then it's over. As soon as you're like mid-air, you're like, what the hell do I need now? Right? You, you, you know you need to counter steer or you know you need to start braking or slowing down or whatever. And you have absolutely zero control because you're constantly bouncing up and down and you're constantly mid-air. There's no point in losing my sanity over this. I've already lost it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's move on. Try to tune up for yourselves. You can probably get a faster time than I did there. Obviously, I had to even go back on one of the checkpoints because I missed it, but I didn't want to, like, do anything else. I'm giving up on this tune. I don't even care. Let's move on to something else. Now, next one is actually for something a lot slower and a lot more peaceful. It is a front-wheel drive C-class build for the Caldera Scramble, he said. He got 191st in the world tonight. So, solid work. 6 2 7 Seven, nine, six, two, six, eight. I love the Caldera Scramble. It's a nice small track. Fulvia, very nice. We'll take a little Fulvia run. Speaking of, since my competition on my channel is actually going to finish tomorrow, well, tonight technically, but tomorrow I'm going to actually make a video on it, I will be announcing the new competition. And uh, keep an eye out on that one because I feel like you guys are going to kind of like it. I love the Fulvia, man. I always, always love the Fulvia. It's such a cool... It's such a cool and interesting little car. Um, I just need to slap a tune on it that this guy sent me and try to give it a shot. See what it's like. Power seems alright. 147, 171 newton meters of torque, 862 kilos. It's fairly light. Riley suspension, off-road tires, front-wheel drive. Cool. Wait, what did that description say? 190th in the world. Fair enough. Yeah, I want to I wanna try it. I want to see what I can do with it. Making a front-wheel drive as well is, a, is interesting because some of these... Well, in the lower class, I guess it kind of is okay. I love the Caldera Scramble as well, man. Like, it's just, a, it's just a track that you can go around over and over again. And it's like, you know you can where you can improve. And because it's such a small track or like a, 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 a I guess, a, a short track... You can just keep doing laps over and over again, and you can see where you're making mistakes and where you can improve and stuff like that, so... Yeah, let's uh, let's give it a shot and see. I actually don't even know where I am in the world. With whatever car I used before, but... We'll see if I can get close to this guy. Or just see what sort of time we can squeeze out with it. I love it already. Grips really nicely. I'm trying to stay quiet here because I'm trying to concentrate, but it, it grips nicely. It's just a little, it's just a little slow. Or maybe could, I'm just not used to it because I've been driving the Moser now for the entire video. But it seems like it's really easy to drive. It seems like you could use a bit more power though. That's what my my thought process is here. Oh my god, third gear is so slow. It's just slow. I can't, I can't use it to like accelerate the corners or anything like that. I need to just only use it for... For these higher speed corners. Okay, definitely don't keep it in fourth. I think I could do this entire run. No, surely not, right? I was gonna say, I surely I could do this entire run without letting go of gas. But no, if I wanted to like kind of... Yeah, that's fine. If I wanted to like... Have the car rotate. Kind of do a bit of lift off oversteer. 
I have to lift off, you know, to do the lift off almost here. But apart from that, it just feels like I can keep it, keep my foot down the entire time. This is funny to me. 48. Come on, we can, we can do better than a 48. I don't know what to do with that first corner. I know what I need to do with the first corner. I just don't know what gear I should really be in. It's probably second. Probably need to slow down all the way to second. The grip is so sick on it though. Like the grip, I, there's no way that I can... There's no way that I can have a bad time with the grip on this thing. It's just, it's just too good. I think this is going to be significantly faster than before, right? Yeah. 48.5. I just don't like your- I don't like your gear ratios on this thing. It just feel like... It's just too long. Am I- am I wrong in saying that? Or is just a car that's a bit too slow? The thing is though, like, how much faster can you really make it? You know? Because it'll- It still has to stay in C-Class. But how much faster can you really make this thing? I, I'm obviously not comparing it to the, uh... To the Sierra there. I missed the checkpoint. The fact that this little car is just begging for more power and you just can't give it to it, that's that's the problem with it. Overall though, I think I, I, I really like the tune. I think the tune is is really good. It does a really good job around the Calera Scramble. Props to props to the zoo to build it. Yeah, like I said, it's just it feels like it's crying out for more power, but obviously as soon as you start giving it more power, you're gonna jump it out of uh, C class. But it's just the uh, it's just a bit of an interesting one to have, isn't it? Like, it's just a... It's a fun one to, to try out like this, especially low on C-Class. I think in B-Class this could be, like, a, a really decent car. I like the way you built it. I like the, the way the front end turns in really sharply. It's just... It's, it's nice. Like, just just overall, just the way it's it's built is it's very nice. Yeah, it's an enjoyable car to drive. I like it. Definitely a lot different to our first car that we've had this video, but... Yeah. Anyway. Thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you for you guys for sending in the tune. Tunes. Sorry, not tune. I uh, subconsciously uh, just decided to ignore the Mosler tune and just say tune. Um, <laughs> thank you for the tunes. I know for a fact that the Mosler tune is very good because of your time on that leaderboard. Like, if you manage to make it top 11 in the world, it is a very good tune. I just cannot be asked to sit here for an hour to do the same run over and over again without even completing it though, right? It's different if I complete it and then I try to improve on my on my little mistakes that I'm making and stuff like that, but when I'm just constantly up in the air off the actual track itself, I just cannot be bothered to keep going over and over again. So I'm giving up on your tune. I'm sorry. I gave it a good shot, but I'm not here to, to sit around for that long to try out the tune and, uh, and, and, and try to get whatever your score or, or try to beat your score with it because it's just not happening i just i feel like i'm i'm losing my mind every time i i restart that that event so yeah anyway thank you for watching everybody i hope you enjoyed today's video of the, the horrendousness that you have watched unfold b before your eyes um yeah this was a this was probably the very first time that i've given up on a tune as this is this is the first time that i've ever given up on a tune that you guys have sent me um but yeah anyway I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.